Welcome back. Earlier today, it was reported U.S. construction spending increased more than expected in October. Uh, and this is going to show us there are certain sectors that are doing very well in construction spending, others not so much. We can see over here on a month-over-month -month basis, uh, the biggest movers include commercial spending and construction spending down 1.5%. Residential is up 1.2%. Manufacturing is up 0.9%. Power construction projects at 1%. On a year-over-year -year basis, uh, the divergence is quite uh, a lot more evident. Manufacturing construction spending up 71% on a year-over-year -year basis. Now, keep this in mind when we talk about our Empire State manufacturing numbers and our Philly Fed manufacturing numbers. Uh, there is a lot of spending in the manufacturing sector. Non-residential is up 20%. Residential, only up 1%. So it really does make a difference where we're looking at the spending. Here's manufacturing uh, versus it, the manufacturing spending is in blue. Total construction is in yellow. And take a look at how much better, and this is, of course, on a year-over-year -year basis, how much better the manufacturing spending is versus the overall total construction numbers. The red line represents the S&P 500. This goes back a couple of years. So we can see over time, there's certainly been a tremendous amount of growth in manufacturing. How this translates into uh, their stock investments, a different story because higher interest rates certainly do depress uh, quarterly earnings. Here's residential construction though, barely in positive territory on a year over year basis really a laggard in the overall industry. Taking a look at non-residential uh, spending, much better. So really, I guess a takeaway from this is the high interest rates seem to be damaging a lot more of the residential construction spending. Uh, that's perhaps the consumer and the average home buyer is a lot more sensitive to economic conditions than non-residential and especially manufacturing. Here's power construction. Now surging to the highest highs we've seen in quite a while. This was after being in negative territory. Uh, this, I think, pretty well correlates also with surging energy prices. Here's lodging construction, which was certainly a lag, or lodging was probably one of the weakest industries coming out of the COVID crisis. Hotel rooms were empty. It did uh, surge the end of last year and the beginning of this year. But so far, it's begun to wane. Perhaps lodging uh, spending is a little bit on the downside, very simply because the consumer, which you know consumes lodging services, is a lot uh, more sensitive to interest rates than others. Uh, here's commercial spending and construction. It's a laggard as well. The residential sector, the commercial sector, most closely linked to interest rates, most closely linked to the consumer doesn't seem to be doing well. It's falling behind the overall average total construction spending. We can see over here highway and street. Now, this is, of course, in part funded by federal and state governments. So with that said, when we have uh, an industry that's funded by government agencies, it's really immune to higher interest rates. The spending does continue. Healthcare construction. Healthcare is one of the strongest sectors in the U.S. economy overall. Uh, the vast majority of high-paying jobs are being created in the healthcare sector. This was doing quite well. The last month, this most recent month, does show a little bit of a dip. This is probably the worst number we've seen uh, this year so far. It'll be interesting to see if this trend continues, especially keeping in mind the yellow histogram bars, the total construction numbers, continue to improve over time. Here's manufacturing. Again, this is the manufacturing sector. It is the number one sector on a year-over-year -year basis. It certainly is a leader. And the reason why we break down these individual sectors is very simply because we want to be able to look back at our own stock portfolios, investments, and say, okay, well, are my stock investments in line with the strength in the economy? At least as far as construction spending is concerned, manufacturing seems to be the strongest sector. Here's transportation. It's a laggard, surprisingly, uh, as it's probably linked somewhat to government spending, but not to nearly the same extent as uh, highway uh, spending. 
Here is what construction spending overall looked like between the years 2006 through 9. The gray line is lodging. That was doing very well. That, of course, went to the downside uh, amidst the uh, 2008 financial recession. Power was the strongest sector by far in 2007. This, of course, was very closely linked to high energy prices. Oil was very expensive at that point. Take a look at the red line at the bottom, residential. It was really falling apart even in 2006, even before we knew anything about the financial banking crisis that was yet to come. Taking a look at spending, it is a leading indicator. What we spend today, we may see tomorrow or next year. Well, residential construction was not doing well. Uh, how is manufacturing? That's the white line. It did improve amidst the, and it became actually the strongest sector throughout uh, the financial crisis, probably because all other sectors really went to the downside including highway and street, which is a light blue line. The dark blue line is transportation. So the takeaway from this is that if we see high oil prices, high energy prices, those have been retreating, by the way, as a result of lowering you know, inflationary numbers. We had the PCE number the other day. We see that the, that the power industry was strong during high energy prices, but then began to fall to the downside. Residential construction is uh, a very easy tell. If that starts to fall apart, certainly we may expect housing crisis in the future. And then we take a look at where we are present date. This is going back about six months. The blue histogram bars at the top, that's manufacturing. That's a manufacturing sector, by far the strongest. The red, non-residential. Uh, this green that was in the negative territory uh, for quite a while, now it's just barely positive, is residential. So does this look like what we saw in 2006, 7, and 8? Well, the power industry is certainly not as strong. Manufacturing is a lot more resilient than it was back then. It was the strongest sector in 2007, 8. It is the strongest sector now. Residential construction. It's uh, it's not doing awful. It's not doing great either. It's the weakest sector on a year-over-year -year basis. It's barely in positive territory. It does mark some sort of an improvement, but nothing really to write home about. So we're going to continue to watch these numbers, and we'll be sure to update you along the way with any significant changes. We hope this has been helpful. We look forward to seeing you back soon.